Now, a lot of people have asked me how to catch Jewfish. Now, Jewfish are very, very shy fish. Larger specimens, specimens tend to go after fresh baits, while the juveniles tend to go after anything. I've caught a lot of them on prawns when I'm chasing them, brim or whiting. But the rig is really important. Now, if you use hooks that are way too big, obviously the Jewfish is going to shy off. So that's why I came up with the technique. My technique is, that whatever fish you're trying to catch, you got to present your, your your bait really, really well. Now, I'm going to show you a personal rig that I use for Jewfish, and it's really effective. Now, I'm not going to use ab abnormally small hooks. What I am going to use is a nice large hook like so, a size 4 bait holder hook, right? And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to tie it up as usual, as the normal rig, with one trace and one hook. But the trick is, you can put multiple hooks on this trace, alright, oops, slid through, didn't tie it properly. Make sure you tie your hooks properly when you're chasing big aggressive fish because if you hook him you don't want to lose him. Um, Alright. We've got that through there. There we have it. So we tied this hook on this nice long trace. You can say Oh shit, a meter and 1.1 or 1.2 meters. Now the bigger the trace, the better. Now since I got this hook here, I'm going to put another three hooks. Three of the same size. Okay. Now you can use this method, method for pilchards. You don't need to buy ganked hooks. I sometimes hate ganked hooks because they snap. And the hole there where the line goes through or the hook goes through, you know, it doesn't stick in properly. So what I'm going to do is the second hook, I'm going to put the line through. Right, once, and I'm going to put it again. That way I can adjust the hook away from the second hook away from the third and do the same for the third one. I'm going to put the line through, right, and again through the hole, and there you have it, let it slide. Very long trace. Got hooked on something. And there you have it. See how the hooks are not sliding properly? And that's my way of rigging up for Jewfish and also Australian salmon. Now if there's a dummy that I could use here, how is this applied to bait? Now basically you have, let's just say we use this toilet paper here. Alright, so we put the hook through like so. We wrap it around, we put the second hook through, we wrap, it, wrap the bait around, and we put the third hook through. That way, the bait stand, the, that way the hooks hold the bait. Now what also holds the bait is the line that's wrapped around it, giving it a lot more stability. It's really good for pilchards, because if you've got soft pilchards, I mean they'll th fall off as soon as you cast them, but if you've got salted pilchards, and you apply this method and you wrap the line over them, you're going to keep the pilchard on the hook. So this is my personal method of rigging up for jewfish, salmon, kingfish. And if I've got smaller hooks, if I want to chase trevally and brim off the rocks, I'll use still a whole pilchard, but just smaller hooks. And there you have it. That's it. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's fishing. Got any questions? Please ask. Write on my personal message inbox. I'm happily glad to reply back, um, and yeah, happy fishing, Blake.